Hi everyone, today we're going to learn the intro riff from Green Tinted 60s Mind by Mr. Big and it sounds like this. <laughs> Cool. So in this green tinted 60s mind guitar lesson, we're gonna go through all the notes and the techniques that you're gonna to need to be able to play this song. Just before we get started, remember to check out the description below for a link to our website where there's gonna be a full write up and some scale diagrams and notes on any technique and stuff like that. So check that out and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you wanna check out more of these kind of videos. All right, let's get started. So <clears throat> this thing is, um, it's based on a lot of tapping, a lot of legato stuff. Um, I think the best way to do this is just to break it down into little bits. There's actually not a lot of rhythm to think about. It's all 16th notes, which is quite nice. Um, so we don't have to worry about that, but there are a lot of notes in it. So we just gotta take it slowly and, and get each part under your fingers and then build on from that. So I'm thinking we'll break it down into that maybe the first one and then that would be the second one. <clears throat> so we'll break it down into little bits like that and uh, at the end you'll be able to put them all together and I'll talk about the different techniques as we get to them. So let's look at that first, we'll call it first lick of it. So that's not, not too bad, no tapping yet. But what we have got is open E string, hammer on with your index finger, then pull off again to the open E string and then with your thumb Pluck the open B string. Okay. So just with your thumb there, you're plucking the open B string. And then try and rest your thumb on there as soon as you can afterwards so you don't have that note ringing out. Because we want to keep that, the whole guitar under control for this. So that's the first lick. So, put, so we're not using a pick by the way with this. So index finger to play the E string. Hammer on, pull off. Okay, and then open B string. Next part goes like this. So again, index finger on the open E string. Then hammer on to the seventh fret of the E string with your third finger, and then pull off to the fifth fret of the E string, and then pull off the open string again. So we have. So if I put those two bits together, we get. All right, so the first thing to do, just get that bit comfortable. Try and think about resting that thumb back on, on that B string, just so you don't get. Can you hear that sounds a lot messier where it clashes with the other notes. So. All right, <clears throat> that's why it's nice to be not playing with a pick with this bit. What you can do is you can hold a pick uh, here. I've seen Paul Gilbert doing this uh, in live version. So he holds it there. So he's ready to, to use the pick when he gets onto the, uh, the rest of the song. But for the purposes of this lesson, I'm just not gonna use a pick at all. So that's what we've got there. And then you see my thumb is holding that E string, that B string, sorry. All right. And after that, we've got this bit. So we've got, that's the next little section. So <clears throat> this comes down to the G string, index finger on the second fret, hammer on to the fourth fret with your uh, third finger. And again, pluck that first note with your thumb. And then index finger to play the open E string, hammer on to the fifth, hammer on to the seventh. And you can see again, I'm, my thumb is just going, actually going back to rest on the B string there, but it's also resting on all the other strings as well. That's general good technique for tapping because you, you're going to mute all the strings, which we're going to need in a second. All right, so that's, all the parts before we get uh, introduced the right hand tapping. So, a really good idea is just to get comfortable with that first. Play it nice and slow. Just make sure that you're getting the, the rhythm of it. 
um, as the timing of it really even sounding. So it's not that sort of thing. You, can, you might find that you, you want to get the pull-offs faster, but you've got to have everything under control. It's all the same. It's all the same rhythm there. And then after that, we've got a tap note. That's what we've got after that. Okay, so the technique for tapping for this song, I'm, like, I'm going to use my index finger and just tap down. It's the same as you would be with your left hand hammering on, same sort of pressure. Tap on the 12th fret of the high E string. Um, still in between the frets. You don't want to be tapping on the fret metal because you'll get a muted note. There we go. And you should be able to get the same sort of volume as if you were doing a left-handed one. Um, a hammer on there. So you might find that um, if you're not used to this, it's almost like going back to square one in terms of like developing calluses on your fingertips because you're not going to use that very much, but it doesn't take too long and it'll, it'll get used to it. So if I put all those parts together and then you can, you can sort of hear where it is and I'll just talk a little bit more about that last bit. So. All right. So those notes are hammer, on the 12th fret with the next finger, then pull off. I, you can pull off up or down, I tend to pull, pull off upwards, and then that's gonna, onto the seventh fret, which you're already gonna be fretting with your third finger, and then pull off again to the fifth fret on the E string, which will fret with your index finger. So you get this. All right. If tapping is completely new to you, just look at that little section. Again, it's about that timing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, when we put it into the actual song, it's gonna be in fours, but if you're practicing that as a separate thing, just to get used to it, you can pick out as threes. The key is that it's all even. You don't end up with like, anything like that. We don't want, we don't want sort of some fast, some slow, we want them all at the same speed, and then you can work on getting them all fast. All right, so I'll put those parts together. So you can see that as I'm on this part, my um, right hand now is already getting, coming up the fretboard, getting ready to do this tap, because I'm gonna use my... Because I can pick that, because I'm picking that E string with my index finger. I can pick that from anywhere. So I might as well start moving up all the time. I'm trying to keep these strings under control as well. So I'm actually running up with my thumb on the B string. That also is sort of a guide there. All right. That's sort of the first half of this. That's something you could practice all together. We look at that in fours, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that rounds off nicely. And then we've got the second half, which is where it gets, a, I'd say it gets a little bit trickier. There's a little bit more movement involved, but it sounds like this. All right. So that, that is a little bit harder. It's got some slides with the tapped finger and it's got a lot more movement as well. Um, what I find difficult with this is coming from here up to that tapped note, that is on the 17th fret of the high E string. Um, I find it really useful to actually look at the fret before I'm going to it. Just keep my eyes on it because then I can see exactly where I need to go. That's probably one of the hardest parts of this for me. Getting, getting from here, all the way up and accurately hitting that 17th fret. Okay. So you can take that really slow, but what's happening after that is it's the hammer on there, pull off to the 10th fret, hammer onto the 12th. So, so 
for this time it's tap, pull off to your index finger and then hammer on with your third finger. All right, so let's listen to that. Okay, can you see that you've got to get quite, quite a jump for your right hand and I'm still running using my thumb on the B string as sort of a rail there so I, I know at least I'm um, going to hit the right string <clears throat> but I still have to keep an eye on the fret. Okay, so after we've done that one we tap again on the 17th fret but now the hat, the, um, we're pulling off to the 5th fret on the E string and hammer on to the 7. So we've got that. So we've come from here, 17, 10, 12, then 17, 5, 7. And the timing of that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. <clears throat> so that maybe sounds a little bit weird as well when you're practicing it, but if you put them all together, you get a, a nice round number. Or a nice multiple of four anyway. <clears throat> Okay, after that, the tapping finger drops to the 16th fret. Okay, so we've got that. I'll play that next lick. Sorry. So, we're tapping on the 16th fret here. And then we're pulling off to the 4th fret, the E string. Then pulling off to the open. And then hammering back on to the four and then hammer on to the seven. So we've got and that again is something to practice on its own. Alright, and then we've got this tapped slide or slid tap perhaps. Um, So what you do here, <clears throat> we've done this 16, 4, open, 4, 7. You're going to tap on the E string again, it's 12th fret, slide up, so keep the tap, just keep the pressure down, slide up to the 16th, and then slide back to the 12th. So you get <clears throat> that's gonna that's gonna be hard. That's probably going to hurt your fingertip quite a lot if you're not used to this, because not only are we tapping, we're also sliding on that string. But just um, just keep keep with it. Don't overdo it. You don't really want to get a blister on your finger, because that, that'll just take longer to heal than if you only just did a short amount every day and build up the calluses. So it's um, tap, slide up to the 16, back, slide back down to the 12, and then after that, we're going to pull off to the seven, pull off to the four, and then you can pull off to the open string again, which actually becomes the first note of the next time around. So I'll start with this the second half and I'll play that whole bit through. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go through that again a bit more slowly, 17, alright, so you can see from that play through there, it is quite hard to keep the uh, sustain on when you're uh, doing a tap and a slide. Obviously, when you do it, doing it a bit faster, you're not going to have to hold the note down for as long anyway, so it, it should work out. Right, so that is the whole lot. <clears throat> what I'll do now is I'll play through it. Um, I'll play through it really slowly, maybe get a bit closer to the camera so you can really see what I'm doing. <clears throat> and then I'll play through it at normal speed, and then we'll be done. So here we go. Okay, 
do that one more time slow. Yeah, I'm really close here. Okay, and that's your first note. So actually, the next time around, you don't have to pick that open E string with your index finger because you've already done it as a pull-off. Okay, I'll do it at a more normal speed, <clears throat> and then I think we'll be done with it. I'll try that again. You can see, really got to watch for that tap. Okay, well thanks for watching that. Uh, remember, just break it down into the individual bits, uh, get them under your fingers first, <clears throat> and then start sticking them together, and then only then do you want to start trying to up the tempo a bit. So if you enjoyed that lesson, don't forget to uh, click the uh, link in the description below. Uh, it'll take you to our website where there's a full write-up and all the notes on there. And uh, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to check out more videos.